Hey, what's going on guys? Mike, Philcraft Survival. I'm here with two options for protecting your loaded and readily accessible firearms in your proximity for home defense, personal defense, whatever it may be. And today I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and we're gonna talk about the advantages and disadvantages of both. So I have the Reach 2S here. This is the first model that I've looked at. It's hard mounted and screwed into the desk here. An advantage, maybe a disadvantage. You could set it up on your nightstand, uh, wherever you like and you want ready access. The idea is, hey, we're protecting our children or even adults, irresponsible adults, who don't understand firearms and how to properly gun handle them, keeping them locked in a way, but also giving us the position to grab and access that pistol in a worst case scenario, in a home defense security scenario. Daddy. So if I go to access this, bam, I could pull out the pistol and it takes, according to Reach 2S, about 0.2 seconds. It claims to be the fastest on the market. This also has a eight month battery life cycle, which I think is impressive, where you have an outlet charger on the bottom where you plug it in, but eight month is a long time to not have to think about things. It has the ability to access it through a lock and key on the bottom, which means you could pull out the whole contraption. I, I think that's for swapping guns out. Like if I wanted to maintain this attached to the desk, because it's hard mounted, this thing is, is not coming off, then I could lock, unlock this, release it, and then swap it out with another pistol or another setup. What I love about this particular setup is how quick you could access the back strap of the pistol, 0.2 seconds, unlock it, and defend your life. That's really fast when you really need it. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's locked in there pretty secure. So, mm, advantages, disadvantages, I like it. It's pretty cool. It's a cool setup. Eight months is great. But let's move on to the Pine World box. Now, welcome to the Pine World safe box. Oh, 17 pounds plus whatever is inside the box. It also allows me to access it via a keypad, a lock on the front. You can put a cable in it that mounts it to a hard surface, like you can lock it to, um, I don't know, your nightstand or refrigerator, whatever you're into. I don't, refrigerator, I don't, that doesn't even make sense. But you can hard mount it, and then it has the ability to access it via your biometrics. The cool thing about this setup is it gives me 50 different prints. What I love about the box ID as well, because I use this box with my kids, because it's in a box, they're not too curious of what's inside of it. It's just kind of a ornament on a table or on a dresser. One of the things that I recommend you doing if you have children is start exposing them to different types of pistols, not real pistols. I mean, you could use a dry or empty pistol in a holster, but I started putting airsoft guns in holsters and just having them laying around. I have cowboy action guns that actually don't work, but they're good decorations that lay around the house and the kids never touch them because it's an ornament. It's like, I'm used to seeing that. So when you have a gun in a box, they're not overly concerned with what's in the box and probably until they get a little bit older. Now, can this box be compromised? I don't know, I, I think anybody with strength and some creativity could get into this box, but I think it's safe and secure. Ready? One, two, three. All right, guys, so in conclusion, what's the best option? Man, I, I think they're both great options, and me personally, I use both of these boxes. I actually have two of these, one in the kitchen, one in my bedroom, and I have this one downstairs in my office. They both are great products. They're not very expensive, and I would say, uh, based on the advantages and disadvantages of them both, they're not really disadvantages. They're just quirks that you have to work around. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that content. I hope you uh, got some value out of that. Leave your comments and feedback below. Also subscribe, hit the notification tab. PhilCraftSurvival.com. Until next time, peace out.